Why do your chargers get so warm? It actually comes down to just one word, inefficiencies. But we'll get more into that very soon. Also, can this be fixed? First of all, it's normal that your charger's block is warm, but just because it's normal doesn't mean that it's the way that it should be. If you feel heat coming off your electronics, that is actually energy being lost in the form of heat. Think of it this way, heat coming off your device is energy wasted. One charger wasting about one watt as it's charging your device might not seem like a big deal, but multiply that by the hundreds of millions of chargers in the US and Canada, and the number of times people charge their devices in a year, and this actually does turn into a very big problem. So why is your charger wasting energy? To demonstrate this, I'm going to show you what's actually inside your cell phone's charging block. Basically, it houses a bunch of components and they all serve a specific purpose, but none of them are very efficient. First, there's an AC to DC converter, or bridge rectifier, in the charger. This converts the AC power from the wall into DC power so the frequency of the AC power can be changed at the next step. Then, what's called a chopper converts that DC power into that higher frequency AC power. It needs to be higher frequency so that a smaller transformer can be used at the next step. Keep in mind, transformers don't work with DC power, only AC power. Next, that small transformer steps down the voltage coming from the wall. It also isolates the power for safety. Then, there's another bridge rectifier to convert AC back into DC so the phone can be charged with the DC power that it needs. And then finally, there's a voltage regulator that makes sure your device's battery doesn't get more volts than what it needs. That's five different components in one little charging block. So why are so many necessary? It comes down to the fact that your building has AC electricity running through its walls, but batteries need DC electricity to charge. So if buildings delivered DC electricity directly to loads like this, the only component you would need inside your charging block would be a DC to DC converter, which would step down voltage levels. So of course your charger would be more efficient if it didn't need so many components, but until DC power is distributed directly to devices, it does. So is there a reason why these components are so inefficient? Who knows, maybe the manufacturer would say that it was an accident, but it really wasn't. The truth is the manufacturer needed to include these things in the charging block, but they didn't need to spring for the most efficient and expensive parts out there. There are actually no efficiency regulations for electronics that supply power under 45 watts. If a device would use more than 45 watts, it must exhibit better than 85% efficiency. So your charger could easily be wasting more than 15% of the costs associated with charging your phone. One solution that eliminates the energy wasted by AC to DC converters in a large building is to have one highly efficient centralized AC to DC conversion and to distribute DC power throughout a building or home so that DC powered devices are getting the DC power they need up front. This way, they don't have to make any individual AC to DC conversions, and this solution is implemented by connecting an AC to DC converter to your electrical panel to convert power directly at the source. Thanks for watching, this has been Aaron from Argentum, where we make a DC power distribution system with a high efficiency centralized AC to DC conversion. This is a solution for commercial buildings and industrial buildings, and it eliminates the need for inefficient cell phone chargers, as well as makes HVAC and lighting more efficient. One more thing, if while watching this you ask yourself, why don't our power grids just supply homes and buildings with DC power? We've actually written an entire blog post just about this question and answered it. So if you want to check out that, you can visit our website, link in description.